We're looking at the Pearson's R and APA style write-ups game. For this game, you'll be shown two cards and asked to pick the weaker correlation. The weaker correlation is going to be the Pearson's R that's closest to zero. Zero means no relationship at all. In this case, on the left, we're told Pearson's R is a positive 0.72. It's actually a rather strong positive correlation. And on the right, it's a negative 0.46, and that is a moderate negative correlation. When we're looking at an APA style write-up for a descriptive report for Pearson's R, you're going to be told the strength of the correlation, is it weak, moderate, or strong, and also the direction of the correlation, is it negative or is it positive. You'll also be to told about the two variables, in this case just labeled X and Y. You'll be informed about their mean and standard deviation. The mean is shown with an uppercase italicized M and standard deviation with an uppercase italicized S. And Pearson's R is a lowercase italicized R. So in this case, uh, we'd pick the 0.42. And a correlation of 1 would be the strongest positive correlation possible. So we're not going to pick that one. And when you're looking at the two cards, you basically are just paying attention to the Pearson's R portion. The rest of it is just a backdrop to help you become a little bit more familiar with the APA style uh, write-up for a descriptive report for Pearson's R. So you just want to go through this as quickly as you can while maintaining a good accuracy. So again, it doesn't matter so much as a positive or negative when we're considering is a weak correlation. It's rather how close is it to zero. A correlation of zero means no relationship. So for example, if I measured my students' shoe size, I would expect a zero correlation between that and their exam performance. Positive correlation would be something like uh, the length of something in inches and the length of something in centimeters. That would be a perfect positive correlation. If I know something's length in centimeters, I can determine its length in inches. A negative correlation means that when one value is above the mean, the other value tends to be below the mean. So if I have an exam with 100 questions on it, there would be a perfect negative correlation between questions right and questions wrong. When you're done, if you're doing this for a class, uh, just click the completion code. Otherwise, to play again, just click the play again button.